The Game Boy released all the way back in 1989, and is the reason why we have consoles like the DS and Switch today. The graphics, well, didn't really age well, but since it was the 90s and the game reviews were less than prominent, like how they are now, we all have gotten a game for the DS or 3DS of a port of a game expecting this and got... Tell them the truth. You sent me to a volcano! To speak to the water god. To jump in! Well, I cannot help it if you are a close talker. Yeah, Game Boy titles seem to always have this, like it always happened. For the Game Boy, it seems like titles like this happened all the time, so let's dive into the truly awful Game Boy ports of games from consoles. The Black Dragon died with Kano. You're the last one, Jarek. Never! Come in, Major Briggs. This is Lieutenant Sonya Blade. What? Sonya, this is Major Briggs. Come in. Sonya, this is Jax. Are you there? So <laughs> This port was a port of Mortal Kombat 4, which is already awful for completely different reasons, but Mortal Kombat 4 was the first to be in 3D. So unlike previous games, they couldn't use 2D sprites. They had to make them from scratch based on the 3D models. It's just awful. They loop the same song for the tower, the, the characters, the main menu, it's awful. And the game just looks awful, with the fatalities basically being a joke. They would improve MK games going forward on the Game Boy with more powerful hardware like the Game Boy Advance making it possible to make games slightly 3D, so we got Deadly Alliance, which wasn't too bad. Tyler the Creator's gonna overthrow America. Sticking with Mortal Kombat, Mortal Kombat Advance is considered one of the worst Game Boy Advance games. This game is a port of Ultimate Mortal Kombat 3. The problems with this is bad controls. Even though they were working with the Game Boy Advance, it's a two-button fighter. The AI is really cheap, I mean even cheaper than Mortal Kombat 2 standards. With them throwing moves super fast that you have no time to react. It's a problem to the point where you, even if you block, you can't get hits on them. The way to get around this is backing them into a corner then hitting them with punch and kick. But even then, there's problems with that because you get pushed back constantly. It's honestly just a mess of a game. I like wrestling games, but for the first time, already you have the quest for the best which is basically just Mortal Kombat and a CPU versus AI mode. WCW Mayhem was a 3D game, and this came on the Game Boy Color. It's not even really rustling, it's just holes and then that don't even look like holes, they just look like dancing. Plus, there's only like a couple rustling moves in the game. Brain Buster, Splash, and you can use weapons. That's basically it. It's not really good. Why? It looks like, it looks like the weekend is fucking grabbing me and trying to give me back shots or something like that. Trying to give back shots to my head. Why? Why? We talked about WCW, but let's talk about the company that's still alive today and how they would make a port for the Game Boy Advance. And it's not much better. You only have two matches, a normal match and a cage match. And yes, it's pretty much the same. And, and it has not aged well to say the least. That's Fat Vin Diesel! <laughs> fat and Furious! Oh my god! It's the, it's the Fat and Furious! <laughs> I'm too fat! I'm too furious! I'm too fast for y'all, man! Now I never played Need for Speed, so I brought on someone who does, Inferno Fury. I thought the controls were fine, until when it came to moving, cause oh my, it's not good. I was just in a joystick, I can't imagine how bad it would be on a D-pad. Hey Inferno, is it good on console? Need for Speed Carbon. It's one of my favorite games. I grew up playing it on the Xbox 360 and I love it. And of course, they had to make a port on the PSP and the Game Boy Advanced. What am I looking at here? Of course, I didn't really expect it to look anything similar to the original game on the consoles. And honestly, it doesn't even look that bad. I mean, I think that's a car there. If anything, it's just a colored brick, but you know, it resembles a car. I think it did its job. It is very funny to me though how the difference between the console and the PSP versus the Game Boy Advance port is just astronomical. It is like night and day how different they are, which is to be expected because the Game Boy Advance isn't that powerful. Uh, but yeah, I play it because I don't feel like emulating a Game Boy Advance game. So yeah, I'm going to give it back to Trey here. Honestly, not a good port. So those were all of the bad Game Boy ports. There's way more, so let me know if you want a part two of this, because there's a lot more bad ports I can cover in this video, trust me. Anyways, I hope you enjoy, and bye!